everyone. I'm going to read a story today called Dragon Was Terrible. Take a look at this dragon. He doesn't look so fierce, but he looks like maybe he's going to cause some trouble. I see his eyebrows up here are slanted, and when you're drawing and you want to make somebody look like maybe they're getting into some trouble, or maybe they're not so nice, you could add the eyebrows slanted like that. This book was written by Kelly DiPuccio, and the pictures are by Greg Pizzoli. Dragon was terrible. Let's see what dragon does that's so terrible. Well, that does not look like a good start. I think that's their king. Dragon was terrible. Naturally, dragons have a bit of terrible in them because they're dragons after all. But this dragon here, super terrible. Uh-oh, I'm a little afraid to see what he does that's so terrible. He stomped on flowers. He played tricks on the guards. Uh-oh, he pulled down their pants. And he spit on cupcakes. Who does that? Dragon, that's who. Yuck, now they're all ruined and nobody can eat the cupcakes. That's not all, he scribbled in books. We all know better than that. He threw sand. And he took candy from baby unicorns. Honestly, that's terrible. The king had had enough. Enough, he said. And he posted this sign, brave knights. Whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift. It shall be a nice gift. Ye shall like it. His Royal Majesty, the King. And look what Dragon did. Down here he wrote, Dragon was here. That's called vandalizing. That's making something that's not yours worse. Knights lined up to show off their dragon taming skills. They all failed miserably and dragon just grew more terrible. Oh, none of the knights could even tame him. He chased fuzzy yellow ducklings around the moat. A moat is like a small river, one's down here, that goes around the castle. That's a moat. It's supposed to stop intruders from getting in because they would have to cross this river. He teepeed the castle. TP is short for toilet paper. So he put toilet paper all around the castle. That's a mean prank and a waste of toilet paper. And he burned every last royal marshmallow to a blackened crisp. Well, now that's just not nice. The villagers had had enough. Enough, they said. And they posted this sign, brave people. So not just knights anymore, but any people. Whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift from the king. It shall be a nice gift. We hope ye shall like it. Perhaps his royal majesty, the king. So now all the people in the village are joining in to fight and tame the terrible dragon. And look what dragon did. Dragon was here again. He's adding graffiti. Graffiti is words or pictures that don't belong somewhere. Ordinary blokes and lassies lined up to try their hand at taming the dragon. Blokes is another word for boys and lassies is another word for girls. They all failed embarrassingly so and just when you thought it wasn't possible, Dragon grew even more terrible. He popped birthday balloons. He drew funny faces on the drawbridge. Look, he's writing, King is a baby. And he burped in church loudly. Honestly, that's terrible and rude. A boy wearing a feathered cap and a look of determination had had enough. Only he didn't say enough like you thought he would. Instead, 
he sketched a story. Sketched is another word for drew. So he's drawing a story. The next day, Dragon followed a trail of marshmallows to a shady tree where the boy was reading. See, the boy put down a whole trail of marshmallows that Dragon followed to get to where he wanted him to be. The boy spied the dragon out of the corner of his eye and began to read aloud in a booming voice. And then the brave dragon swooped in to save the princess, he said. Dragon stopped in his tracks. Well, that got his interest. But the terrible knight pulled out his wicked sword. Dragon pretended not to listen, but I think he was actually pretty interested in the story. The brave dragon roared and the frady cat knight trembled in his boots. Dragon pretended to walk away. A crowd began to gather and dragon took cover in a tree. The boy continued reading page after page after page. Ooh, dragon's very interested to see how this story is going to end. Snap, crash, dragon landed on the ground with a terrible thud. The crowd gasped. <gasps> the dragon roared. The clever boy didn't flinch. That means he didn't get nervous like that. He reached out a hand to the dragon and said, would you like to hear how the story ends? And just when you thought it wasn't possible, dragon smiled. And he took a seat beneath the tree with the other children. Honestly, that's adorable. The king cheered, the villagers cheered, the baby unicorn and fuzzy ducklings cheered the loudest of all. At long last, the terrible dragon had been tamed. The end. He was tamed with a story, wasn't he? And a very nice boy who chose to be his friend. Hey, wait. What about the reward? Oh yes, that. The gift was a new friend. A nice dragon, of course. And that's the end of Dragon Was Terrible. It says, hear ye, hear ye. Think you can tame this terrible dragon? Wanted, reward offered. Wanted, terrible dragon. See dragon, say dragon. Well, I hope you liked this book. Dragon was terrible. Bye-bye.